A Caledonia mom turned to News 8 trying to get help for her special needs daughter. Bri Brianna DeKuyper says her six-year-old visually impaired daughter is not getting the accommodation she needs from Caledonia schools to learn. News 8's Stella Fergie has her story and what the school has to say about it. The parent says the district's not doing enough. The superintendent says they are trying to work out solutions. Hello, everybody. Aaliyah DeKuyper looks and sounds like a typical six-year-old. So we're going to see why. She knows how to read words on a page. It's seeing those words that causes her problems. She was born with a visual impairment, uh, leaving her with 2300 vision. Um, and with that comes a cataract in her left eye and also glaucoma. Aliza a kindergartner at Caledonia's Paris Ridge Elementary. Her mom, Brianna DeKuyper, says she's trying to get extra classroom help for Alia through an IEP. Short for Individual Education Program, IEPs are state mandated and require schools to provide children with learning problems added tools and procedures to help them in class. And basically that gives them um, any resources or accommodations that they need to succeed. But Brianna DeKuyper says Aliyah is not getting what she needs from Caledonia schools. Things like access to Braille, a larger projector to see words in her Spanish class, and other accommodations. She's not getting quality education because she can't see the material and she's not getting the help she needs. It makes me angry that my child, because of her disability, is being denied access to education. We reached out to Caledonia school leaders who tell us, along with standard IEP efforts, they've also brought in a specialist who deals with visually impaired students. They say they were not aware of DeKuyper's request for Braille learning, and the district says they've been working on a plan to provide equipment to enlarge lessons in Aaliyah's Spanish class. It very much appeared as if our staff was definitely responsive and going out of their way to make sure that they hear the parents' concerns and to address it the best that they could. Caledonia Superintendent Dr. Diedrich Martin says he understands the frustration parents sometimes have in dealing with an IEP. We certainly understand how um, dealing with kids with special needs can be confusing just in terms of the process and how to go about it properly. DeKuyper says she'll continue to advocate for her child and others who need that additional support. We need education for our kids and I'm not speaking for only my child, I'm speaking for all these kids around Michigan who are probably dealing with the same issues and uh, no one's speaking up. As for what's next, Dr. Martin says the staff will reach out to Aaliyah's mother and continue to try to work out some solutions. In Caledonia, Joe Lafergie, News 8.